Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal. Today we have another clay block video. We've done these videos with just about every cartridge under the sun. Go back to 100 yards, see what happens to this hard, heavy clay. Today we are comparing two of the lever action cartridges. The first being the 4570 government. Everybody loves a good 4570. And then secondly, Remington's brand new cartridge, the 360 Buckhammer. Let me tell you, I have taken deer with both of these cartridges and both of these exact rigs we have out here today. They will both take a deer, but Gonna be interesting to see what happens on the clay. Let's get right to it. I'm gonna go back to 100 yards and we'll start clay block on a 4570. Then we'll go to the 360 buck hammer and we'll see what happens. Quick, fun video, should be pretty cool. Check it out. Back to the bench first with the 4570. Before we get back to the bench, I better show you our rigs here or somebody's gonna get mad at me. Let's look at everything up close real quick. So, for our 360 buck hammer, I'll give you a closer look here. 360 buck hammer core locked. We have the 200 grain soft point loading and we're flinging it out of a Henry, which has the tube load and the side load. And we got a nine power zoomy optic on there. But we're going to be flinging that 360 buck hammer out of a Henry there. Now let's look at the 4570. Then here's our 4570, the 405 grain loading, big old chunk of lead. So about twice as the size of the blue lot we're slinging, actually a little bit more than twice the size of the 360 buck hammer. We're slinging this out of a Marlin. I got that LPVO on there and that one's got eight zoomies on it. So we're gonna max that thing out. Eight zoomies and nine zoomies. Do our best to smack that clay right in the middle. That's a Marlin model 1895. I've taken deer myself with both of these rigs and they both do the job fantastically. Enough yapping already. Let's go back to the bench at 100 yards, hit the clay with the 4570 first. Should be pretty cool. All right, here we go. 405 grain core locked, 4570, 100 yards. See what happens to the clay. See if I can get it, eh? Hopefully I don't miss it on camera, eh? like a pretty good little center smack let's go down there and check it out all right so coming up to the 4570 block of clay this was the front honestly there's more left over than i thought but i think we got a pretty pretty good little center hit there i think i'm out of breath from sprinting up here y'all but that's what's left took about half of the top off right down the middle, but definitely gonna be interesting on the slow-mo. Now, let's grab that 360 buck hammer and see what happens. It's a 200 grainer, where the 4570 was a 405 grainer. I don't know, let's just see what happens. Let me go grab the 360 buck hammer, see what happens on the clay. All right, here we go, back at 100 yards. Clay on the 360 buck hammer. Let's see what we get here. Ho! We 
We definitely got it. It's still raining clay. Oh my goodness. I'm not kidding. There was clay raining for like five seconds. But from back here, it looks like the 360 buck hammer slapped that clay quite a bit harder than that 4570. But let's run up there and see. All right, guys, you saw the footage. I saw it here live action with my own eyeballs. I think the wind definitely goes to the 360 buck hammer. Let's look at the clay. So, there's what's left of the 360 buck hammer, and there's what's left of the 4570. Definitely took the top off the 4570 block, but this 360 buck hammer piece of clay entirely misshapen whereas at 4570 you're like oh that used to be a square this is just about completely pancaked out lots of energy being slapped on this baby quite a bit faster ballpark this one's going oh seven eight hundred feet per second faster than that one and this one's half the weight of that one but the uh i think the proof is in the video when we're talking about slapping some clay i think the 360 buck hammer wins today but there you have it guys clay blocks versus these lever action cartridges the 360 buck hammer and the 4570 government let me tell you i've taken a lot of deer more deer than i can remember and when i'm given the option I tend to choose speed over boulot grain, meaning between these two, if we were going out chasing some whitetails, I would probably pick the speedier one. Now, like I said, I have taken deer with both of these cartridges. There's uh, Some of those videos are up on the channel if you want to go check them out. 4570 versus deer, 360 buck hammer versus deer. Out of these two, and kind of based on some of our results here today, if we're going out chasing whitetails, I'm, I'd probably pick that 360 buck hammer over that 4570. But hey, there you have it. 360 buck hammer versus 4570 government on the clay blocks. Lever action fans, appreciate y'all watching. And everybody else, appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Got all those notifications on. We got new videos coming out every day. Appreciate y'all. We got the best viewers on the interwebs. Stay tuned for a whole lot more really fun videos. Appreciate y'all. Hoodoo!